Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you the AOS CP ROM, which is based on Android version 9.05. So let's begin. So as you can see here, the ROM here is the AOS CP Kenzo rebuild. This is the very old ROM and which is based on Android 9.05. As you can see, the security patch level is 1st August 2019. The kernel here was uh, previously some other kernel. I have changed to Elinder kernel version 5. Now let's uh, just uh, go to the settings. These are the settings. This is the overall the stock Android. No customizations are available. Go into system, you get the gesture three finger swipe for the screenshot option is available, but you don't get the long screenshot option available then you get the jump to camera and all and everything then going to the buttons you get the navigation bar option available here but if you turn on then the you, what you say the hardware buttons just get disabled and in the gestures you get the swipe on the home button and this is working the 9.0 pi gestures but here is a bug now if you go to buttons and directly turn off the navigation bar then just wait for it after some time the navigation bar will turn on automatically these are the gestures available i just show to you then you get the system updates but as this is the old room then you don't you won't get any more updates here overall the room is just stable no problems then going to the digital well-being here is the digital well-being which is working absolutely fine then uh, going to the security and lock, lock screen let's just add the fingerprint scanner here the fingerprint scanner i just tried but it was just not working first the fingerprint scanner is currently working after changing the kernel here so just take a note of it on the stock kernel it was not working now let's just try as you can see the fingerprint scanner is working but uh, if you are able to see that the navigation bar has automatically turned on so this is a bug here and after the navigation bar just turns on both the hardware buttons will also work so now if you want to turn off the navigation bar first of all just to go to gestures turn off the swipe on home button go back go to the buttons now just turn on and turn off the navigation bar and turn on the backlight option this is the way you can turn off the navigation bar so guys now that's it now going to the sound and vibration stuff these are all the sound and vibration stuff pretty much same stuff available you get the me sound enhancer available here you can just turn it on then going to the display option you the these are all the display options available going to the wallpapers these are the all the pretty much same options available here as android 9.0 features you get the ambient display option available here which is also working you get the ambient play as this will show these sh songs on the like uh, now playing feature this is a great option available here the ambient display is also working fine no problems here okay then going to the battery as you can see the screen usage since full charge is 2 hours and 59 minutes uh, i charge it around 94 percent and here still the 63 percent battery is available so battery backup on this room is just amazing like as you can see these are the battery stats and the youtube is used the maximum you have 109 minutes so then 39 minutes of whatsapp and the file and play stores and all that stuff so battery life here is just amazing no worries that is it for the settings now going to the home screen this is the home screen features and the room is pretty much very smooth currently after changing the kernel here so take a note of it mm, talking about the stuff like the wi-fi is working absolutely fine the flashlight here is also working mobile data is working up fine no worries the 4g voltage is working then the, you get the night light and location and hotspot then these are the stuff all the stuff available no customizations are available here you don't get the long screenshot option you don't get the screen recorder you get the call recorder option and you get the google feed on the right swipe so guys that is it these were the stuff available here then talking about the other stuff like the camera here you get the google camera go version available here the pre-installed one 
the portrait mode photo mode video everything is just working absolutely fine no worries then uh, going through these these showing you the geekbench scores the geekbench scores are amazing like on the stock kernel these are the geekbench scores for the stock kernel here the 289 and the 806 and after changing the kernel to alien kernel version 5 these are the scores 227 and 598 now previously as you saw that bug the screen just uh, automatically turned off and you have to unlock the phone this is a bug present here then talking about the banking apps like the safety net to here is has passed you will be able to run the banking apps no problems as you can see here but for that you have to root your phone using the magic manager if you don't know how to root your phone then uh, i have made a video on how you can install a custom recovery and flashy custom room in that video I have shown how you can route your phone via Magisk Manager. So guys that is it, otherwise everything is just working fine. The Google cameras here are not working because of the Android version 9. So guys that is it. And talking about the bugs, now talking about the bugs, I am sorry to say but to those all the PUBG players, I am not able to install the PUBG, PUBG is just not working here. Every time I just installed it just shows me an error otherwise everything is working call quality is just to create no black screen no random reboot everything is just working fine pretty much no bugs are present here the fingerprint scanner is also working now previously it was not working but after changing the kernel it is working fine and you don't get to play the pubg here okay so guys that's it for now if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to hit the like button if you are new to this channel then please guys subscribe to the channel if you have any questions then you can ask me in the comment section below i'll meet you in the next one till then stay safe have fun and goodbye